What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the Everyone Is Here tournament. So if you haven't seen it, very simple. Quick rundown, 100 characters are put into a tournament each day on the channel, except Sundays. I upload one of the matches from the tournament, and then I'll go over the characters, mini moveset pool, uh, maybe some facts about the character, whatever it might be, and then uh, we'll vote down in the comments. So, um, yeah, voting is a part of the overall rules, so I'll throw that up on screen in just a couple seconds. But real quick plug, uh, I got a second video coming out today, uh, my second raid boss. It's, an, uh, it's a pretty good one. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are ever interested in, you know, fighting raid boss amiibos, hey, link the... Um, <laughs> link to the discords down in the description feel free to check it out we're doing another one tomorrow another raid boss battle so hey you want to get involved in that join the discord all right but yeah uh here comes the rest of the rules though all right yeah you can see them there they're pretty straightforward you know what they say is what they are so yeah the first one is for fun yeah just vote for who you personally want not who's necessarily more likely so that's kind of how rule one works out but uh you do only get one vote per person uh, you, the way to vote is down in the comments by simply typing the name of the character that you are voting for. Yes, you are allowed to vote for both the characters if you happen to really enjoy both the characters or if you just have a difficult time deciding who to vote for. You are more than welcome to vote for both by simply typing both. Uh, but uh, the rest of the rules, double elimination tournament, meaning a character has to lose twice before being officially eliminated. And then once we get to the results to determine the winner and loser of each individual matchup, well, if there's a tie, we're just going to flip a coin on camera. First way to break a tie. And then each matchup voting-wise only lasts for just one week. So you get seven days from once the uh, the matchup gets uploaded. You have seven days to get your votes in. Otherwise, if they come in after that, the vote simply doesn't count. All right, that's all the rules. So let's jump into the rest of the matchup, shall we? All right, so uh, we got to go over the results from last week. Uh, another loser bracket matchup. So yet another character is being Eliminated from the tournament. So uh, the results, well, oh, okay. It was uh, from the matchup of Nightmare from Soul Calibur, who was taking on Tracer from Overwatch. The winner, what, there it is. The winner happened to be Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare ended up winning this one 35 votes to uh, 24. So Tracer is eliminated from the tournament. So sorry, but it's going to happen. Uh, a lot of characters are going to be eliminated. But, uh, yeah, Nightmare gets to advance for at least one more matchup. So, uh, yeah, congrats to Nightmare. But, uh, yeah, that's the result. So we'll move on to the matchup. So we have a very <laughs> interesting contrast of styles between these two characters today. Holy crap. The matchup, <laughs> Captain Toad from the uh, Captain Toad uh, Treasure Tracker series. And uh, his opponent... <laughs> Doom Slayer from Hell, or Doom, <laughs> whichever. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how this one plays out. Um, all right, who's up first? Captain Toad. Now, my biggest point, uh, one big reason that I I like the character, one reason that I really want to see this character in the roster is I make this case for a few a very small handful of characters. Nintendo Smash Bros. started, and it still is, a Nintendo All-Star game with, yeah, a lot of third-party guest characters, which is fine. I don't have any issue with that. But this is like a Nintendo All-Star game. And when you look at the roster, when you look at some of the characters that are on there, and you go, this first-party character's on there and this first-party? But how do we not have some representation of Captain Toad, or, like, a playable Toad? How do we not have Dixie Kong, for an example, as well? So, like, that that's a big thing for me, uh, I guess, Mainly, I grew up on Nintendo, so stuff like that is kind of, you know, it kind of weighs on me a little bit. It kind of, you know, it pulls at me a little bit. Like, hey, this is a Nintendo All-Star game for playable characters, and yet we don't have anybody. So, Captain Toad, look, the Treasure Tracker series, that was a big hit. Uh, you know, it was one of the, what, like six, seven games on the Wii U. There's probably a couple more. But one of the few games on the Wii U that actually did well, and if it did well on the Wii U, all right, you did pretty well then, right? Because the Wii U kind of failed but anyway captain toad would be a, i think could be a very interesting character i'll point this out again real quick because uh it's always some sort of argument captain toad can't jump neither could omar <laughs> problem solved all right right omar can jump captain toad can end up jumping but anyway so well we can get we can get around that problem no problem so move set for captain toad i think there's some uh there's a lot of uh it, like I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff that really seems to fit for Captain Toad. Um, just take it straight from the game. He does have a pickaxe. 
turn up cannon. Like these are just a few of the ideas. I got a couple more, but uh, the pickaxe, turn up cannon. It's got the clear pipe. Use that obviously to kind of like maybe you could even kind of control where the pipe might uh, end up taking you. So it's like a controllable up special. You have a little bit of uh, range and a little bit of uh, maneuverability off of it. So kind of uh, that'd be uh, interesting. Uh, up B, uh, turn up pluck. That's already in the game. And look, look, you're like, hey, turn up pluck. All right, Peach and Daisy have that. Nah, no thanks. Keep in mind when you look at all the DLC characters that we have so far, all the ones from the Fighter Pass, Joker, Hero, Banjo, Terry, and uh, now Byleth, they all share some sort of uh, like traits, some sort of uh, similar uh, moves to characters that are already on the roster. I think they do that to help the process of the character. So they already have, like, as an example, the turnip pluck. You already have that programmed into the game. Now you just got to put that onto a character. So it could save a little bit of time, which, you know, I'm all for saving a little bit of time in development. You know, get the character out there a little bit quicker. So that could work. Um, other moves, uh, it does have a mine cart. You could use that as, like, a side special, just a quick little dash. Uh, cross screen does have uh like diamonds uh you could use headbutts uh there, there's there's some good uh good potential here it's not just like hmm what could captain toad do now nah, he could actually do quite a bit uh i honestly believe that and i was like the thing the alternate costume on this one if we if captain toad gets playable there better be a captain toadette i'm just saying there better be it just it makes too much sense you know so before going to it too far that should just be one of the, you know, it could be seven. I don't care if it's seven alternate colors of Captain Toad, but at least one Captain Toadette, please. Or if it's four and four, I don't care. <laughs> it just needs to be a thing, right? But, uh, yeah, Captain Toad. Nintendo, he's an all-star. I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. I mean, like, that's that's the point, right, of Toad. He's arguably the, the most well-known Nintendo character that's not playable uh, that's not, uh, obviously it's not on the roster. So it, it's, it's kind of like, come on at this point, isn't it kind of time? I, I think it's time, whether it is a regular toad, whether it's captain toad, whether it's toad's worth toadette, if, whoever, I don't care. Some form of toad needs to be playable. I, I stress that, but that's, I just feel that way that, you know, I, I, like I said, it's a big thing for me to, to look at the roster and go, all right. That's Nintendo All-Stars right there. And Captain Toad's a Nintendo All-Star. Toad is a Nintendo All-Star. Put him on the roster already. Good. good uh, I don't know. I think it just makes sense. And plus the fact that I think a lot more people are open to the idea now. I mean, there's a lot of people that were set uh, for the first Fighter Pass. They're like, no way are we getting a uh, first party character. I was always kind of like, yeah, I think we could get one. I kind of, I was envisioning Psylux to be honest, but then the whole Metroid Prime 4 got developed or delayed, so maybe they scrapped it. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I always kind of believed we'd get one, and, well, we did. Now we're getting six more characters in Fighter Pass 2. I think we're going to get at least one more first-party character. Look, it's Nintendo's game. They want to make profits. They get a little bit more uh, profits, you know, from the entire sales of uh, the Fighter Pass because they don't have to split the revenue with a third-party company or anything like that. So, hey, they're a business. They want to make money. I understand that. But I have no objections to that. But uh, let's let's move on to Captain Toad's opponent real quick. Doom Slayer. Oh, man. All right. So this guy's kind of been growing on me a little bit. Doom is – he's still not like – he's. I'll be honest. He's probably not even a top 20 character I want to see playable on the roster. But I like what he could uh, bring to the table in terms of weaponry and everything. And here's the point. Doom Slayer's too, too hardcore. He's too mature. He's got all the blood. Look, look, look. That's the thing about the attacks and the moves in Doom in any mature game. The blood and the, the those thi the the guts that sort of stuff, it's added effects. So you could put Doom Slayer in the game. Yeah, I get maybe it, it'd be kind of weird, you know, seeing Doom Slayer run around and shotgunning people and they're not blowing chunks out of but whatever it might be. Maybe it's a little weird, but you could still make it work. You just don't have the added effects of the extra blood spewing everywhere. You're not gonna have that. So, Doom Slayer, great. But uh, point I need to bring up, though. Two days ago, uh, Doom's director, for some reason, and this was, like, so bizarre, just out of nowhere, 
timing a little bit suspicious, I would have to say. The Doom director uh, stated that Doom and Nintendo have only bantered about Smash Bros. Now, why is that a big deal? Now, it, it's been noted, I've said this uh, m- uh, no- numerous times when it's come to uh, Doom Slayer and his matches, Nintendo and Bethesda have talked before. There was apparently no offer had been made, and now, just recently, like I said, two days ago, this came out, the Doom directors come out and said, nah, we've only bantered with Nintendo, no serious offers have happened. All right, why would the Doom director come out and say that? Now, look, roughly a week after Nintendo officially says uh, Fighter Pass 2 is coming out, okay, cool. Uh, A lot of people are, a lot of characters are back on the table, a lot of, you know, a lot of finger crossing, a lot of hope for a lot of, a lot of characters. And now you get this third party company where a lot of people, keep in mind, circle back to October. So many people across the internet, you know, YouTube, comment sections, uh, message boards, social media, whatever it was. A lot of people were keen on Doom Slayer, Doom Guy, whatever you want to call him. Uh, was a lot of people thought he was going to be FP5. Uh, again, there's there's some sort of evidence again with the Nintendo Bethesda talks. There's some sort of evidence that were like, all right, this is going to happen, right? Again, that's uh, obviously didn't happen. It didn't happen, but could it? Maybe. I kind of don't think Doom Slayer is going to happen now. I I just uh, I find the the timing of there. I know you could be like, nah, he's just lying about it. Because if you sign an NDA. You can lie, you can twist your words a bit to make it seem one way or the other. But he flat out says, nah, we didn't have any, um, we we only bantered, there was, you know, no serious talks. They're like, okay, well, can he can he actually lie about it? Well, Grant Kirkhope, the uh, the guy uh, that was uh, working with uh, Sakurai to get uh, the banjo music in uh, Smash Bros. Somebody flat out on Twitter asked him, uh, w- would uh, something along the lines of, will we see banjo in Smash? And Grant specifically replies don't hold your breath you can lie under nda there's that's not an issue you know you can't you just can't reveal what the actual thing is so you can lie it's not an issue but um i don't know i I just find the timing so bizarre like why the whole point why would the doom director come out and state it right now roughly a week after fighter pass 2 gets officially announced why not if doom slayer is going to happen would you just kind of like sit there and go Nah, I don't need to say anything about it. We haven't said anything about it this whole time. You know, there's a couple teases, maybe a couple little funny quotes, whatever it might be about uh, Doom Doom Guy and, uh, you know, Smash Bros. Going back to QuakeCon uh, back in August, there was that little weird little exchange of words, whatever it was. So, I don't know. It just seems like, all right, they came out and made this official announcement to, you know, kind of clarify everything. Like, hey, we've bantered, nothing serious. That's it. I, yeah, I don't, honestly, I don't think Doom, Doom Slayer, Doom Guy, I don't think he's happening. I, I don't. Uh, maybe I get fooled. I, I guess I won't be the first time I get fooled by something. Maybe it won't be the last. But I don't think so. But any, either way, with even putting that aside, Captain Toadstale is my vote, mainly because the Nintendo All Star point. That's, that's a big factor for me. Big factor. Uh, so Captain Toad actually has my vote. I would still. I'd like to see Doom Slayer. I'd like a rep of you know like a first person shooter kind of game. I think that'd be really cool. But you know if I have my pick in a first person shooter co- sort of uh, game, Master Chief all the way, all the way. Got. The, but uh, Chief's not in this uh, matchup. Doom Slayer is. But Captain Toad's getting my vote. So let me know who you guys are voting for down in the comments. Toad. Uh, or Doom Slayer, or both. All are good options. Anyway, that is it for this one. Little sneak peek for tomorrow. The matchup. We have Dixie Kong from Donkey Kong series. Uh, and her opponent, Shovel Knight. This was a part of the uh, slight rearranging we did in the tournament. So, uh, yeah, Dixie Kong and Shovel Knight is tomorrow. And then the results will be for... <laughs> speaking of Master Chief, the results are going to be for Master Chief, who is taking on Velvet Crow. That is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed As always, remember, second video today, Raid Boss. It's uh, it's a good one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, or will enjoy it, I should say. But, yeah, that's it for this one. And, uh, yeah, peace out, everybody.